Let's talk about something many of you might agree on. The state of superhero movies would look very different today if it weren't for the success of the first Blade movie in the late 90s. That film paved the way for others like X-Men and Spider-Man in the 2000s, and from there, the superhero genre took off. Now, I'm not saying that superhero movies wouldn't exist without Blade, but it definitely set the stage for studios to take more risks and explore this genre further. And speaking of Blade, can you believe it? Wesley Snipes returns, reprising his iconic role in a cameo that took everyone by surprise. It's one of those MCU moments you never thought you'd see. Especially considering the Blade reboot has been stuck in development hell for a while now. As far as we know, Snipes isn't involved in that, but who knows? Maybe that'll change after this. Now, I'm here with all of Snipes' scenes from this new movie. I've already covered The Human Torch, and I've got plenty of other videos on this film, so be sure to check those out too. But for now, let's dive into this. You guys, we can put Cassandra over our knee and force her to let us out of the void. I know what it means to feel self-doubt. I know what it means. I really know it.
motherfuckers are always trying to ice skate on you. So that's it for Snipes' scenes. Let me just say, I absolutely love the first two Blade movies. And even though the third one doesn't hold up as well, I don't hate it like some do. We all know how the first Blade the movie planted the seed for the superhero genre. It was a game changer, showing studios that characters like Blade could carry a movie and rake in both critical acclaim and box office success. That success pushed studios to take more chances with other characters. And honestly, it seems like Wesley Snipes hasn't lost a step. His presence and portrayal of Blade are still on point. I love how Ryan Reynolds even tweeted that Snipes deserves a Logan-style send-off with his own movie. Marvel, if you're listening, that would be brilliant. But seriously, it's frustrating to see how the Blade reboot has been struggling. I feel bad for Mahershala Ali, who's stuck waiting as delays pile up, and they still haven't finalized the script. It's a mess. And it's a shame because Ali isn't getting any younger. That said, I'm thrilled that Wesley Snipes got his moment to shine in this film. The love and appreciation for him now are even stronger than they were back then. Not that people didn't love him back then, they did, especially with the first two movies. But this cameo just reignited that flame. The Third Blade. The film had its issues both on and off set, but Snipes' impact on the genre is undeniable. So, what did you think of Wesley Snipes' scenes in this Deadpool and Wolverine movie? Let me know in the comments below. I've got breakdowns of the Human Torch, Deadpool, and Wolverine scenes, plus a ton of other content coming soon. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. And hey, if you're wondering why Thor was crying for Deadpool and where they meet, you'll definitely want to check out my next video. Stay tuned.